Year after year, Laser Company carries out range tests of its equipment. These tests were made at the turn of 2015-2016 with the help of taggers of the 8th generation, which have a hybrid optical system. The accuracy of shots was checked along with the range by our company technicians for the first time. Range. The hybrid optical system came out in the middle of 2015, but its full potential was revealed only together with the 8th generation of electronics. The range was considerably increased. The medium fire distance was increased by 100 meters. Thus, now snipers can safely fire at the distance of up to 600 meters in cloudy weather. The accuracy was increased thanks to a narrow concentrated infrared beam. The hybrid optical system is notable for low power consumption than its predecessors. This and the 8th generation electronics increase the overall battery life of a laser tech kit. Starting with the 8th generation electronics, the range depends on weather conditions only. In the shade, it's twice bigger than in the sun. 100 meters target hit. The battery power affects the range no longer. Dealing with optics, there are no miracles. The range and accuracy decline when the overall dimensions of the optical system and particularly the tube are reduced. The killing zone becomes increased manifold. Making hits becomes too easy. Laser Company preserves its traditions. Every year we keep the overall dimensions of the optical system and at the same time constantly improve the design and characteristics of lenses and electronics. During that day of checking, the weather was ideal. The sensors were located in the shade, so we managed to achieve maximum results. 350 meters, target hit. In bright sunshine, the range falls more than in half. So the following data has been obtained. Desert Eagle. 28 meters in the sun, 65 meters in the shade. Stachkin APB. 25 meters in the sun, 63 meters in the shade. The garage with the tube surprised us. The features of the hybrid optical system had significantly increased its range up to 120 meters in the sun and 258 meters in the shade. Eraser. 100 meters in the sun and 216 meters in the shade. Three data, 154, 321 meters respectively. MP514, 190, 405 meters. AK105, 180, 377 meters. MP512, 234, 502 meters. SVDC, 300 meters, 610 meters. The target range is more than 500 meters. The walkie-talkie doesn't catch any signal, but I see that we're still hitting the target. If we classify the results by the type of optical tubes, we'll get approximately the following table. Integrated optics, 25-60 meters. Pistol optics, 122 meters, 250 meters. Submachine gun, 150 meters, 320 meters. Assault optics, 180 meters, 390 meters. Machine gun and sniper optics, 250 meters, 500 meters. Heavy sniper optics, 300 meters and 600 meters. Accuracy. We took our previous generation optical system and new hybrid one and made tests. When we fire with a weapon equipped with hybrid optics, the flare spot of the infrared beam is much brighter and smaller in area extent in contrast with the previous generation optics. In the new system, most of the infrared emitting power is concentrated in the center of the spot. Thanks to that, light beam is narrower and its energy density becomes bigger, so does the range that makes the gameplay more interesting. 
by improved energy pulse characteristics without overloading the infrared diode, and therefore it will serve longer as well as weapon accumulators. We got added evidence that the accuracy of the hybrid optical system had been increased. That means the requirements for its manufacturing and setting had also been increased. We introduced an additional adjustment and reinforced quality control. As for the optical system unit, it's assembled using the computer-aided method, which excludes any deformation. In 2015, a new ghost concerning BioLight security was introduced in Russia for the first time. And we were the first among laser tech equipment manufacturers who were certified according to this standard. We obtained exact data, test reports, on the basis of which our optical systems were put in the no-risk group. That means that they are not dangerous to the eye, even during continuous exposure. For example, burst shooting at close range. The optical systems of Laser War Company have always been and remain the quality standard in the laser tech industry. The specification is confirmed every year by each test. We don't see good statistics and back up words with deeds. See you at the battlefield and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.